Okay, so hello and welcome back to another video on my channel. In this one, I'm going to be doing an update video on my game that I kind of restarted over summer a bit. I'll get into that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be showing off what I've been doing. Uh, quickly though, before I get into it, I want to just mention what's going on with the channel. It's kind of like a mini update. So um, obviously before the summer holidays, I was uploading daily tutorials and just update videos, which I'm going to continue to do from tomorrow onwards. Um, for the first four weeks of some holidays, I was away doing some outdoor stuff. Don't want to bother going into it, really. I don't think people really care. And then when I got back, I obviously had schoolwork to catch up with, and I did some YouTube, and I also did some working with the server and the website and the bot, and I just had a really hectic summer. But now I'm back at school. It's kind of calmed down a bit. So I still will have time for most of this year to do daily videos, uh, or at least every two. I'll do my best anyway. Um, so obviously... Uh, if you want to keep giving me video ideas, then the comment section or the Discord server, anywhere, that's good. Um, one thing to note is if you do join the Discord server, which I highly recommend, uh, please don't private message me because you won't get a response. I don't bother responding to uh, private messages I get in Discord because uh, over the course of the server, I've had hun hundreds of DMs and I just can't keep up with them. It's impossible. And also, I don't have time to message everyone privately. Like, if you need help, put it in the main main server and, you know, be patient. But anyway... Um, yeah, let's get into this. So, uh, a lot of you will remember my game that I was working on ages ago, and I've basically remade it. Uh, not currently made as much progress. You see this nice little opening screen I made. Uh, yeah, just a little with the thing with the animator. But anyway, uh, I've remade the game for multiple reasons. Uh, one, when I started making my game back last December, I was pretty new to coding at the time. So, well, not pretty new, but yeah, quite new. So, it was bad coding, like, you know, just bad practice, bad like, um, you know what I mean? It was just bad code. You can look, you can tell the difference between good and bad code. It was really inefficient and just, well, it wasn't really inefficient. It wasn't slow or anything, but like, there's lots of things I could have done better. And I want to actually use my game, or at least some of it, as part of my computer science coursework for showing just coding stuff in general. And so I've started again. I'm commenting everything and I'm making systems better than they were and I'm going to go through those systems that I've made so far and why they're better and how I've done them differently. So uh, I haven't yet made the settings menu but it's there and the exit I haven't, well it works obviously I'm not going to show it. So now, so as, as you see here we have new game and continue so you can probably guess what they do. Now I've made it so that when you open up the game one of the first things it does is it checks does a save file exist. Now obviously you need to write a bit of code for that, but you basically write, like, does this file directory exist? If it doesn't exist, then this thing, this button is disabled and it looks, you know, just grayed out. Um, whereas if the file save, if the save file does exist, then this is like a normal button, which is really good uh, for the whole, you know, loading and continuing from a new game. I could have made it so that it doesn't appear if it's not there, but I've just thought I'd keep it grayed out like that. Um, and then I've also got the new game button, which, as you know, makes a new game, deletes the old save file if there is one. Um, and normally in games, also one thing with my game is I want to make it slightly unique. Like, I don't want to just follow every norm. Like, I want to do things my way whilst also keeping it recognisable to people who normally play RPGs anyway. So generally in games, when you make a new save file, you click new game and it's like, are you sure you wish to overwrite your old save file? Uh, obviously, I could have done it that way, but I feel like having a little pop-up to say, you know, would you like to override? It's just a bit pointless. Extra effort having panels and, you know, bothering to enable UI. So I simply have it, when I click on the button for the first few times, it kind of has like a, you know, funny little, it's like a breaking the fourth wall thing. I want to implement that quite a bit. So when you click on the new game button, it actually just changes text. So it's like a new game. Like, are you sure? Really? Hmm. If you say so, one last time. I'll be seeing you around. And that's like the way to confirm that you want to start a new game. Because obviously you're not going to click it like seven times if you actually don't want to start a new game. And then when you want to continue your game, you don't have to bother with that. So it's only when you want to start a new game. Now, as you see, there's not much here. This is just the testing room I've basically remade. I've imported the assets, so I still have the same potions and sword and arrow and whatever. But um, I've redone all the code. So there's all the different systems, you know, like movement, jumping, whatever. It's pretty similar but I have changed things like with scriptable objects and if you watched my previous few videos on scriptable objects I've implemented a lot of the ways that I was mentioning in this game so for example the key binding system if you go there and look at like uh, E to pick up if I went back into the scriptable object and changed the key binding scriptable object and changed interact then it would actually update this live now I can do that 
in the game, but I haven't yet made, made the settings menu, as I've said, that's one of my next things on my list to do. Uh, I didn't think it was that important to do right away, because, you know, it's just settings. Uh, you can do it whenever, to be honest, but I want to get it out of the way soon. So that can change the key bindings, and obviously if I press E, we pick the item up, and it goes into my inventory. Now, I used to have a different kind of way of doing the inventory, and I didn't realise the problem until it happened. I thought that obviously, yeah, I can have my like, items in any slot, but the way I used to have it is, it was a list which was resizable, so it used to be of size 0 until you add something, and then it would be size 2, so if I had 2 items it would be 1, 2. But the problem with that is, I couldn't have anything in slot 20, because it didn't really exist. It was there physically, but it wasn't actually there in the code. So now I've got it, so there's a set 20 size list array, and you move the item around. And because it's scriptable objects, I don't actually move the scriptable object around. How I have it is, each of these slots is a scriptable object of type item, and they're empty. There's no data on them, there's no name, no description, no icon. And then when I drag something onto it, it clones the data from here onto that slot, and it deletes that. Uh, cl like clears the data back to a blank so that when I save my um, inventory for example regardless of how many items I've got I get 20 files one per each like slot and um, that's then loaded back up in the same order so that um, my inventory stays in the same order no matter where my items are and it's really useful um, so obviously I can have my potions wherever and I can pick up the other two and there you go they go into the first slots haven't yet got icons for them doesn't matter you know what they are um, can move them around one thing I didn't used to be able to do either is I didn't used to be able to drag my uh, things onto the hotbar, but I can now. So I can drag that onto here, I can scroll. Obviously I can hold the item, so that's new as well, I just thought I'd add that, why not? Um, I've changed the whole way of like equipping items, like, everything's just better. Um, you can swap the items while on it and it'll change it here. Um, you can you know, scroll, you can drag onto it, you can drag off it, you can put this there, you can scroll through. If you right click um, so if you left click with an item on your hotbar, you'll use it, but I'm already on full health. I added this little like Kind of error handler in a way. So if you can't do something it kind of I'll make a sound eventually But for now it just basically flashes you're already on full health And if you try and do other things that are to do it just overwrites that so it's not in the way uh, And that fades out over time then it's the same with uh, the other potion. So, you know same and with the small one and Then I also added which is a new thing is I added item dropping so if you drag an item out of inventory and let go there it is. You can drop it out of your hotbar. You can drop it out there. And you can pick them back up, and there's no problem there at all. Badoom, badoom, badoom. There you go. Obviously, they just kind of fall in front of you, so it doesn't matter. It looks a bit like <laughs> fake almost when they all land standing off like that, but um, that's just because the floor is perfectly flat. And there's probably not going to be any places in the world that are actually perfectly flat. Um, obviously, I could show you healing, but I currently don't take damage. The way I tested it is I just manually dealt damage and like well, I dropped my character up to test the full damage, took some damage and then did that. Um, so I've also made obviously his sword, uh, no icon yet, I'm just using random icons, um, click or you can do click click and you can go like a you know two part combo, whatever. So I've kind of added like um, combos now to the sword if you like click before the actual animation ends at the right time. So if I click two times right away it just does one attack, if I click at the right time near the end it does the little jab at the end, so that's pretty cool in my opinion. <laughs> Gonna keep working on it, obviously, here's just a static weapon stand thing. Um, then here's an arrow, but it's 10. What I'm gonna do is, I'm probably gonna model a like bundle of arrows that just represents multiple arrows. I'm not gonna model one for like each separate amount of arrows. I've just made arrows stack to 99, which is fair enough. And I'm gonna have like fire arrows, frost arrows, whatever. For now, we just have basic arrows. Pick those up, there's 10. There you go, you see the times 10, obviously 10 of a stack. Um, if I drop those, what happens is, if you drop something and it's a, I, I've got a di an, an enum for the different kinds of items, so you can have consumables, ammunition, weapons, spells, whatever, all the different things you can have on your hotbar basically, or your inventory. Um, you can't have spells in your inventory, but I'm going to make that when I do the spell system, which is also one of my next things to do. Um, so what happens is if I had like five potions and I dropped them, they would be five separate potions because that's set, that's fair enough, they're potions. But for arrows, I don't want to drop like 99 physical arrows uh, on the floor. So I'm going to, if I drop them, they go as a stack and then that's how many there are. And same with picking them up. If there's like, you know, if I have 10 and I pick up 15, it does, like, it just adds 15 onto that counter and so on. And if I'm on 99, I pick up 15, it'll go into the new slot. And if there's some space left, it'll finish that off, then go into the new slot. So I've sorted all that out. It's pretty good. Um, here's a test enemy, he doesn't do any attacking, he just works, so you know, you just hit him, gets knocked back a bit, cube dude, he's not even a cube anymore, he used to be a cube, I just wanted to try with a, um, 
you know, I, I just wanted to try with a same character kind of shape. There you go. Didn't have any death thing yet, he just goes, but yeah, it works. Haven't added XP drop yet. These, these are all things to add. I've got a massive list of things I need to re-add to the game. But it's already looking better than it was, in my opinion. And by looking, I mean working. It just doesn't look better yet. Now this, I've implemented save game. I didn't have save or load. So this is going to be like, maybe I'll save through NPCs or I'll have some kind of shrine object like games do where you save or something. But this is like a save object. So it's an interactable, just like an item. You know, press E to interact, save game, pick up, whatever. I'm going to pick up, well, save game, sorry. A little notification pop up saying game saved. I'll have the same kind of thing when I level up, but it, obviously it won't look like that exactly. Uh, for the sake of, you know, not spamming the pop-up thing, I just put a 10-second cooldown on saving. It's not really a problem, you know, for people. Please wait another 7, 6, you know. Whenever I click on it, it'll tell me how long's left, which is quite useful. And then I can save again. And at the moment, what it currently saves is it saves my inventory, my hotbar, and my player stats, which is the only stuff it needs to save at the moment, to be honest. Oh, and also the scene and position I'm in. So if I exit the game and I quickly just rummage through find the hell build and if I run the game now and you'll see now when we open it up because we have a save file uh, assuming all has gone well and it's working like it was the other day um, we should have it letting us continue yeah okay so I'm gonna press continue and it just goes and loads the scene um, and then as you see here save game I'm in the position um, stuff like the uh, what I've got selected uh, oh there's a problem. No, I've already. That's actually useful. That fact. That found a problem. Um, so that's like an empty slot, but it's. See, there's some some problems there already. It seems to not have saved the sword or the other thing, which is not nice. Because I can still equip the sword, so the sword still works. It's just this sword is kind of like not there. But I'll look into that. So obviously, doing these videos is usually good because I find bugs, and it's not like I'm meant to have the game fully polished when I make these videos because, well, it would be unrealistic because, uh, you know, I'm in the middle of development. As you see here, two health potions. Now, there's actually times two on these, but because I currently haven't got any better than a white icon, you know, you can't see the times two, but if you drop them, it drops the two. Uh, where? There we go. So yeah, uh, I think that's most of the stuff. So I've done, obviously, like, yeah, bags, hot bar, scrolling, Attacking, saving. Um, I'm going to be working on the bow and the magic system soon. Uh, XP drop, level up, spells. It's gonna, it's gonna be good. Um, obviously, if you like what I was doing and you understand why I started remaking stuff and how much better the systems actually are than they were, because um, my coding knowledge has just got so much better since like a year ago. Anyway, I feel like it was a good idea to restart, and I've already made a lot of progress in like the last two or three weeks. I've only been working on this for like a week or so. Um, as well as worrying about school and stuff, but I've kind of settled back in school. I've had a few days, you know, had my lessons, homework, sort of planned it out, got everything sorted. So from tomorrow, daily videos. Uh, gonna keep working on my game, Discord server, bot, everything. Just gonna still be active as I can be. So yeah, uh, if you haven't already, then I would recommend subscribing. Obviously, see the videos. Um, I'm gonna be putting this on the Unity subreddit anyway, for people to have a look at what I've been doing. Um, but yeah, so obviously subscribe, join the server, take part in the community. Apart from that. I want to go to bed, so thanks for watching and goodbye.